Mets fans think everything is going to go wrong, right? I hate to be optimistic, but everything's really gone right, right? And Brett Beatty at the top of that list. Pretty good. I get fired up, Lauren, when teams know they're in contention and someone goes down, and instead of bringing up that kind of stopgap guy, they say, no, who's our top prospect down yeah, there that's like, killing Go it. get him. Like, he walks in, and you're like, ooh, <laughs> we're bringing him up? Yeah. We're starting his clock? Hitting 315, 19 bombs. Triple All right, so, go. honestly, outside of Jim Tomey in the building, occasionally Mike Lowell, yeah. when we're talking hitting, I want Sean Casey in the box. Let's go, me, brother. Okay. Thanks. So I want to break this this cat down a little bit. Like this kid. Went to high school a couple blocks away from Kevin Millar. I've been hearing about Brett Beatty for a long time. Lake Travis High School. And yesterday did not disappoint. Gets to the big leagues. Big features, by the way. So he's going to only get bigger, stronger, faster. And I want you to lock in. We're going to take you through his first A-B here. Case, jump in at any time. I'm going to take you back to high school. See if he's doing things a little bit different. But gets like... Perfect, Family's going crazy. Perfect matchup Gosh. for him. Jake Odorizzi. What a moment. Can we bring that back? Run it let's, back. Let's run, that, let's run that back. Listen, the thing I love about this kid, d row 6'3", 210, big boy. Covered Not a place. huge power guy. Come Like, bat to ball skills, control the strike zone, hard hit rates are all through the roof. Right, right. Power's going to come eventually. Look at the stance. Really basic. This is what I love about him. Run this forward a little bit. Pause right there. It's such a smooth simple. movement. It's such a simple move. It doesn't have to be crazy. So much going on when you're hitting big league pitching. For, for Beatty, when you watch him, man, such a simple bump back. Head stays still. Hands are about to go. Run it forward. And then right here, stop it right there. Look at the power he generates. Like I said, he's not 240, big 250. Legs. Big legs. 6'3", uses the leverage. And the extension he gets, that pitch was... Uh, uh, backdoor curveball, I believe, yep. that it, it was off the plate away. That just shows you, you can take that pitch that's up, that's not necessarily inner middle in, and you can still hook at the right center. Does a great job of hitting right there. I just love the approach. Run this through. The next AB he has, look at him stay back on that breaking ball. Next AB, he hits a one hop missile. Left on left, opposite field. Oh, that ball is scorched. Oh 95. God. Dansby's just standing, positioned in the perfect spot. Don't know where Mark Canna's going. Maybe he thinks, run that back real quick, because I want to lock in this sim in high school. This is awesome. He hit a rocket his second run, back two up the middle. Run it, run it all the way back, because this is such a good swing left on left. And this is the beauty of him, right? He takes a breaking ball from Oda Rizzi, gets out and around it. He doesn't deviate and say, I'm, I'm going to pull everything. Mm. I'm going to stay left on left, keep the front hip, sh uh, front shoulder closed, and lock in right here. What I have noticed, this is him in Lake Travis High School. Run this. Violent hack. I mean, how can you not show up and be impressed with that bat to ball skills right there? Mm. But what's interesting to me is, Case, pause this. He's almost like bet on his body a little bit. Yeah, dude. He's gotten leaner, more athletic looking. Usually it goes the other way. You're getting bigger, stronger, faster. It's almost like he told himself, maybe I'm a little bottom heavy. I got to get a little bit more lighter on my feet. I want to prove to the Metsies that I can be the third baseman in the future and stay there. It seems mm. like he's done some different things from a from a fitness standpoint. Yeah, but I think one thing you look at, D-Row, this swing is similar, pretty, right? Pretty this guy is, oh, before you even get the pro ball, you can hit, you can hit. This kid can hit coming oh. out of the womb, guys. This guy's probably been raking since he's been two. His dad flipping to him in the backyard because he looks exactly the same. That's a sweet swing. That swing plays. Ooh, I like the he's call. Got, he's got a little Ian Happ in there for me. Okay. I, honestly, I, I think he does with just the follow through and everything that goes into it. We were talking about it last night. I heard a Colby Rasmus thrown out there. Kind of Ike Davis in that Mets is you. Will Clark. There, there, yeah. There's a lot you could see there. A little bit of Run the Ian Happ real quick for me. Yeah. Strong lower Stay half. Strong. Stays Generating back. power. Stays back. Okay. Case. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're going to talk about left-handed guys. Bat to ball skills. Doesn't strike out. Boom. That's power, a one. power eventually is going to surface in the show. But he's going to hit 300 and give you four great ABs every night. If Brett B Beatty could be half the player that Sean Casey was, he's doing something. So I kind of wanted you to give a tutorial to Brett Beatty as he's kind of got a similar profile case. Yeah. 
What were you doing in the box that made you so successful? I went down wormholes last night. <laughs> You're four for four at PNC Park to yeah. open PNC. Yeah. Get over, it. You're, you're in the box like that. Like, you're in, like, <laughs> this is going, this is, like, you're all over the place. I was, I was like, double well, what hamstring. What are you doing? Take, Rod, well, get in, then, double hamstring stretch, you know, all this stuff. You know, it was, it was ridiculous what I did. But why anyway, the back leg Because it, it popped my hip. It popped okay. my hip. And you know what? It locked me in, D-Row. I was looking, listen, at the end of the day, I don't care what you think. And look, oh, look what he's doing. Yeah, I'm getting ready to, to hit a rocket off to somebody. To dominate you. Because in my mind, I'm like, okay, I was doing all my stretches, but I was like, all right, I just saw 93 sink. Okay, good. I'm going to get back in here. I'm going to hunt the heater, see what I got. Listen, when I look at, when I look at, when I look at Beatty, I think of a guy, that simple approach, I love the Ian Happ comp, comp, but the thing that I loved about him, the third deck wasn't too big. The bright lights weren't right. too big. Big game. Hey, we're calling you up. No, we're not calling you up with being 20 games out. We're calling you up against the Braves. And walk into in that Atlanta. clubhouse. Exactly. In a big clubhouse with a lot of veteran guys, Buck Showalter. He comes up first to bat and goes deep. Dude. And hit couple other rockets like the one you showed. Do right you there. think it helped he came up? I mean, he's been scorching the baseball. He got six games at AAA. He's been mostly in double A for 95 games. 315 with 19 homers in 95 games in double A. I went back. We had Eric Nays look at it. Sean Casey, you know what you were hitting when you got called up? 82 games between double A and AAA in 1997. You got called up. You were hitting 380. 380. I was locked in. I was locked in. So when incredible. you walked into that big league clubhouse, kind of like Brett Baby, I'm swinging yeah. a hot bat right now. Nothing should change. Well, that's what I, 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 I read what he said. He's like, I'm feeling really confident right now. And I think that's the big thing. My advice to Brett Beatty was, be you. You're going to be good enough there. Yeah. Your numbers in the minors are going to be close to what you are in the big leagues. So when you get in the box, listen, do exactly what your process is down there. It's got, they got to come over this plate. They got to throw you strikes. And when they do, hammer it, whether it's a righty, whether it's a lefty. I'd say keep your confidence. No, you can Did hit. Did you worry you about searching for power as, you know your, what? as it, your career it, it, progressed? No, or? because it started to come for me. You know, I, and, and, and I think one thing is you start, you know, maybe taking a shot. You get 2 0 3 1. You start getting count and leverage, right? You start taking maybe a, a chance of getting the ball a little more, more out front. But I learned that as I went. You know, I was a. I was a bat to ball guy, and then I, the power came as I as I as I matured. Power's gonna come with this kid. This guy's gonna get a nice I, swing. I was sitting there watching the game last night. I'm like, this is Sean Casey would take this guy down to the cage, take him under his wing, and oh man, you kidding me? I would grab home. this kid and I would say, I made him everything he is. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a good strategy. Take a star, exactly. Work with him and then take all right. the credit. I look and say, this guy rakes. I know he's gonna rake. Hey, come on over here. Let's get an article together. The biggest takeaway last night, like Casey said, the ability to come up, walk into that clubhouse, be among stars in Truist Park against the Braves in a pennant chase, mm. and look that calm. And the yeah. joy on his face in the picture behind yeah, him that was is good stuff. so great. His parents, his dad crying. Let's go. That yeah. speed. His, his uh, old high school, the baseball program, had a watch party there at Lake Travis High School mm, and were, uh, sent out a video of them. Robert, you know who went to Lake Travis High School? Baker Mayfield. Yeah. Quarterback of the Carolina Panthers. I think maybe <laughs> Nick Foles, too. I think.